Friends, this is not good. Many seniors and retirees are being affected by what lawmakers call outdated Social Security rules. More beneficiaries are seeing their benefits reduced and are receiving overpayment notices from the SSA. But a group of lawmakers are trying to address the problem by passing a new piece of legislation. My dear friends, please make sure that you watch until the end of this video to hear about all of the details. Also, in a video later today, I will be announcing several winners for the Walmart gift card giveaway. If you would like to enter these weekly giveaway friends, please click and like several of my videos and then comment below the keyword of each video that you watch. The more videos that you comment on friends, the greater your chances of winning these giveaways. Now on one final matter, working Americans can't seem to catch a break from Bidenomics. Washington Democrats' spending sprees on President Biden's watch have driven inflation up 17.6%, and the effects are becoming inescapable. In my home state, many small businesses owners have been forced to raise their prices to keep up with rising costs. One shop owner in Lexington put it, quote, I make food and chocolates and all the ingredients have gone up. I've been battling with increasing my prices, he said, which I don't want to do. Just like in cities and towns across the country, small businesses in Lexington are facing declining foot traffic, which might have something to do with the consumer's shrinking paychecks. Inflation is eating away at people's savings. By one estimate, the average American family would need an extra $11,400 a year just to maintain the standard of living they had when President Biden took office. And needless to say, folks on fixed income are among the hardest hit. One 68-year-old retiree in Western Massachusetts summed up his struggle to make ends meet in the Biden economy. Here's what he said, you get your check, then you have to sit down like, and ask yourself, what am I going to pay? Am I going to get food or lose my electricity? I can't spend nothing anymore. I have to pay rent, utilities, food, medicine. This is what the American people are up against. This is everyday life under Bidenomics. Bizarrely, the Biden administration still seems to hold its favorite phrase in high esteem. The White House press secretary called Bidenomics the word of the year. Well, working Americans feel quite differently, and the president's hometown is no exception. As one resident of Scranton, Pennsylvania reported recently, quote, Everything's going up, except the paychecks. It is known that Americans who receive pensions have a complicated relationship with the Social Security system due to a couple of federal rules, which are designed to reduce excessive Social Security payouts. That is the windfall elimination provision and the government pension offset. Both restrict Social Security benefits for public sector pensioners and in some cases, people have even had benefits taken away. According to Yahoo News, that was the case with Joyce Debnam, an 80-year-old Maryland woman who received $1,400 a month in Social Security survivor benefits following the death of her husband. When she retired from the U.S. Postal Service after 40 years there, her Social Security check was suddenly slashed to $174 a month. Then she was told by the SSA that she owed $5,000 in overpaid benefits. Yahoo News says that the reason all of this happened is because Joyce Debnam receives a government pension from her USPS career. Many government workers are not covered by Social Security 
because they don't pay Social Security payroll taxes on their earnings or get credit for that work when the SSA calculates their benefits. The windfall elimination provision and the government pension offset outlines how Social Security deals with retirees who receive pensions. Under the WEP, Social Security's benefits are reduced if you receive a pension from work, did not pay into Social Security, and had fewer than 30 years of substantial employment or covered employment. The Congressional Research Service says that as of December 2022, about 2 million Americans, or 3% of all Social Security beneficiaries, were affected by the WEP. According to the SSA, the government pension offset affects spouses, widows, and widowers who receive government pensions and in some cases reduces their Social Security benefits. If you receive a pension from a government job but did not pay Social Security taxes while you had the job, the SSA will reduce your Social Security as of December 2022. Nearly 735,000 Social Security beneficiaries had their benefits reduced by the GPO. Of those directly affected by the GPO, 52% were spouses and 48% were widowers. Approximately 70% of all GPO-affected beneficiaries had their benefits fully offset, while 30% had their benefits partially offset. So to address the problem, lawmakers earlier this year reintroduced a bipartisan Social Security Fairness Act, which aims to repeal the WEP and GPO. The bill has had broad bipartisan support among 300 lawmakers in the U.S. House. Democratic Representative Abigail Spanberger and GOP Representative Garrett Graves are leading efforts to get the act passed, according to CNBC News. In the meantime, pensioners may take steps to prepare for the possibility of Social Security overpayments. The agency does not calculate the altered retirement benefit to adjust for that income, but you can do it yourself using the WEP and GPO online calculators. The biggest change announced this year is a cost of living increase that will boost Social Security payments beginning in January 2024. Because of this year's declining inflation rate, the 2024 COLA will be much smaller than the 8.7% increase that Social Security recipients received this year. For Social Security retirement beneficiaries, the 3.2% increase will boost the average monthly payment by $59 they Motley Fool reported. Those with long-term disabilities will see an average increase of $48 a month. And according to Yahoo News, aged widows and widowers living alone, their average benefits will rise to $1,773 a month from $1,718. For a disabled worker with a spouse and a child, the average monthly benefit will increase to $2,720 from $2,636. Well, my magnificent and most awesome friends, that is the end of my daily stimulus update video for today. Oh, dear friends, thank you so much for being part of this community. To say thank you, I will be announcing several winners for the Walmart gift card giveaway in a video later today. So please make sure that you do stay tuned. Thank you and have a wonderful and very blessed day.